New Zealand just beat India in India three tests, and this was the most devastating 10 minutes of play for India amongst all the tests. This breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings. It's the end of the day. There's only three overs left, and then they call it, and then they come back tomorrow, and they start again. And Jice walls up, and he's having a pretty good, pretty good go in the crease. You know, he's just going to play defense on that one. And then he says, you know what? Okay, I saw that ball in the over. Hmm, let's have some fun. I'm going to go for a reverse sweep. Just misses it. Oh, come on. Yeah, fucking Mo. What? Oh, he's, what are you saying there? Jaiswal walks off like that was probably dumb, huh? They can't believe it up in the clubhouse. Uh, just a nice, nice tight. It's actually not that tight of a spin. Skids on underneath, misses it. Just crushes, crushes the stumps. Hits both of them kind of evenly. Watch this. Middle and leg. Boom. Clobbered. So, Jice Wall's out now. And, again, there's there's two uh, 2.4 overs left. Come on! Yeah. Fucking, oh, what are you saying? Okay. So, India, instead of bringing Coley in, who's a good batsman, one of the best to play, they go to the Knights Watchman. If you're unfamiliar, it's kind of the last guy in the batting order and say, hey, dude, the light is getting dull. The ball's old. The wicket's old. It's a tough time to hit. Go out there and just play defense. Just keep this game going. Don't get out. And then tomorrow, Coley can come in to a better situation for him. So, you know, just go out there, block some balls, trade strike. Comes out, and Gil sees him. He's like, it's me. Bet you didn't think it was me. And he's like, yeah, what do you got to do? How's the ball bounce? And he's like, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, I mean, it's got, it's a little bounce to it. Yeah, just play defense, man. Just block it, and you're good. And he's like, okay. And Gil's like, did you hear me? Were you listening? Uh, okay, this might suck. This isn't good. So, a wicket on the last ball, first ball that Siraj sees and <laughs> gets beat. So the worst possible performance you can have out of Knights Watchmen. No, it gets worse because he's like, was that up? That was high because I was out here and it did it. Was it at my knee? I, let's review it. What? Wasting a review. And now they really can't believe it. What are you doing? What's he doing? I mean, bad enough to get out, but you're going to burn a review on this? What are you doing? That's a nice tighter ball. Kind of lofted up there. Turns on him a little bit and he misses and just hits the knee. So it hit that knee. See, it didn't hit the bat. It didn't hit the front leg. It clears that. There's no sound waves. There's no sound waves. There's no sound waves. But the back knee, bam. And I think he thought it hit his front knee because he's going off the height of his front knee being like it would have been too high. But no, it was lower there and then hit. And then, yes, dude, you're out. Easiest review ever out worst possible performance from a night's watch lost a wicket burned a review on one ball and now he's gone and they're pretty despondent in the clubhouse like what the fuck and coley comes in he says here i am don't worry i got this should have been me from the start what are they doing bringing him out and gil's like oh nice a proper batsman i'm gonna have some fun now let's trade strike you know we don't have much time left in this game and uh a jazz just rounds out is over. Coley just, you know, plays defense. Boom. Easy. Just like that. Just what Siraj was trying to do. Gil was given good advice and then hits that one a little. They don't rotate. So now Ravindra's in and he's facing Gil and kind of just like, that was weird. They trade strike. So now Coley's up again and just playing defense, playing defense. And Ravindra goes full toss and it gets past the defense Hits the boundary. I don't know properly if this is a strategy, but Ravindra, those first two, he got called for a no ball. Coley's just blocking. You kind of want to force action at the end here, like make them put put it in play, make them take a risk. A full toss is juicier. Coley can't resist. He sees it, says, yeah, I know what to do with that. You can't do that. I'm going to get off the mark. I'm going to get maybe some points. Hits the boundary, four runs, the full toss, boom. O'Rourke should have stopped that on the move. Can't get to it. No one's behind him. So it's four runs and they're feeling good. They're smiling. Not O'Rourke. He's bummed out. And Ravinja says, okay, here's another full toss. If you want to have some fun, Coley puts it in play and then forces a single and Henry just guns him down. Why run? Why run? 
It's the last over before the day ends. There wasn't a single to be had. They go to review right away. Man, Henry just comes up gunning. It wasn't that far, but he does get it. But why even put the risk out there? Boom. Hit the stumps before Coley crossed. Coley watches the replay with wide eyes and then shuts him in dismay. Because what were you doing? And now India lost three wickets in the last, I don't know, 10 balls or whatever it was. 10 minutes of play. It was a pretty good day for them. And then just in the last 10 minutes, shattered. So now Punt comes out and he's like, all right, I mean, I got it. Don't worry. And he blocks one ball, uh, gets himself a single. The official says, that's the day. Stumps, great ending. And they're like, what the hell just happened? And this breakdown is brought to you by DraftKings, who I appreciate. And I appreciate you guys if you watch these and enjoy the cricket breakdowns. Test cricket season's going on. International cricket's going on. So I'm going to make more. If you enjoy them, please share them because uh, I want to keep making them. But I need people to enjoy them. 